head when, sorry for the delay, I'll patiently await your punishment. It's Tuesday here on the Super Keen Show, and I do believe this is the first time I've showered before doing one of these things. Also, I decided to wear pants. Yep, wearing pants. The other day, I helped McCall move into her new house. I didn't do a very good job seeing as I blew her off until after Cora. Sorry about that, McCall. My dad tagged along so he could help, but mostly to inquire on some real estate. He's been looking for a new house to buy. But this reminded me about the other day when I had a thought about real estate. Why is it called real estate? What the heck is fake estate? So I googled it. I didn't find much. There's a decent punk band under that name. But other than that, all I got was a bunch of confusing websites that I didn't want to sit around and try to figure out for more than 10 seconds. So I started thinking about the world. I know, big thoughts, right? I thought about how every surface of land has been found. That made me think about Jim Carrey's character in The Truman Show when he wanted to be an explorer, but was then turned down by his teacher who made him aware that everywhere had already been found. This made me think about Up and Mr. Fredrickson's dreams to explore the world with the girl he loved. This made me think about travel and all the rules that come along with it. Orders between nations, documents to allow travel between these nations, people separated by masses of land and the governments that control said land. This makes me think of ways that people have countered that separation. Telegraphs, telephones, radio, television, the internet. Invisible lines of communication break down these borders. And these lines are far more under our control than these restricted modes of travel. I'd call the internet fake estate. We're all free to stake our claim on this unlimited land. We build our estates on these new platforms, but we can't see nor touch them. It's fake, yet very real. The things we do are real over the internet, but very much invisible. I only communicate to you via the internet. We I am, we make these videos to each other. Even my phone is connected to Wi-Fi to enable me to text or call you whenever I want. It's a really interesting time, and I'm excited to see whether it will harm or benefit our society. If you have any thoughts on the subject, be sure to share, and I'll see you tomorrow, Edwin.